this is where the whole process starts really, it's, uh, it's in the vineyard and basically the winemaker is trying to get grapes, or the viticulturalist is trying to get to grapes with a high sugar content and to produce a very good wine he's likely going to cut half the bunches of grapes away so that the nutrients in the ground have less grapes to feed. That's going to create uh, more intense characteristics. It's all coming out of the soil and it's, it's very important that you have a nice warm summer with not too much uh, rainfall, obviously that's going to water down your flavours. You don't want things like humidity because that's going to cause a lot of fungal problems. Uh, and you don't want wind or frost at certain times of the year because that can really affect the fruit set and, and, and if you don't get that fruit set you're never going to get a bunch of grapes. When you hand harvest it means that if there's any imperfection on any grape they can just pluck that one grape off. Uh, if, if it's machine harvested the machines go down, they'll shake all the vines and that's a, a lot harder on the, on the fruit. It's the focus on uh, a you know, hand produced product that produces the very best quality and in New Zealand, we're renowned for a lot of uh, very high tier wines where quality is the whole uh, name of the game, not quantity. Each grape uh, bunch will be slightly different. The size of the berry, a lot of people are not aware that uh, the grapes that produce wine are very small. And you've got tight uh, clusters of bunches like this, which uh, have a very high intensity of fruit sugar. Uh, you can't make uh, wine out of table grapes. The reason they're table grapes is because they are so big, uh, but in being big they don't have much flavour. 